Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Fallout Tactics with me, Dogbog, uh, breaking the stream. And uh, yeah, in the last mission we cleared out some super mutants and um, we did it pretty uh, forcefully. We just kind of ran up the middle and shot them all dead. Uh, worked out fairly well. Uh, yeah, so this time we're going to go back to the bunker. We'll probably have to switch bunkers. Uh, and then from that point we'll go to our new bunker. Uh, survey it really quickly and then get on to the next mission so we'll see you there all right we're back so I uh, did some uh, inventory management and character uh, management as well uh, I traded out Stein for Bob here Bob T mutant uh, the T stands for the he is pretty awesome um, basically he has a hot arm to 160 percent uh, which means he's gonna punch people he has a strength of 12 which is awesome he is both ham-fisted and heavy-handed, uh, which is just wonderful. Um, yeah, I, I can't really complain. Yeah, and so what that's going to be uh, able to do for us is when he punches people, he's going to do 19 to 22. And when he kicks people, he's going to go 22 to 26. Um, that's pretty good, considering it's just his foot. Um, and so what I've done is I've actually set him to kick people in the eyes and I want him to actually punch people in the groin So that way we can uh, have them just kind of do his work I may switch that up as we go, but also look at his damage resistances 31 AC first of all, that's amazing uh, And then 9 slash 65 normal 940 fire, etc. Right? It, it just goes down the board. It's all around amazing Larak has toughness and the best armor we can get, well, second best armor we can get at this time. Uh, and he's got almost half <laughs> what all Bob here has. Um, you can gas up Bob a little bit, but for the most part, they're pretty equivalent. Uh, and that's pretty awesome considering Bob is just a mutant wearing a few metal plates. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right. Uh, as far as leveling is concerned, I just kind of dumped everything into big guns, uh, and I took some perks finally on our characters. I took bonus range damage with, um, uh, Lorac, and, uh, let's see, with Kurt, I just, um, upped her, uh, trap skill. Uh, Billy Bob, I kept, uh, pouring into small guns. I'm gonna get Outdoorsman, I think, next. Um, Brian, we gave him lock picking. So in case we ever run into any, uh, situations where we need to pick a lock, uh, we're there, and then I actually finally spent his perks. So <laughs> I gave him tag, I gave him tunnel rat, and I gave him perception because perception is very useful for shooting stuff. Um, Alice, I'm saving her perk here. I'm not sure exactly what I want to get with her. Uh, she seems to have the skills I need her to have right now, and I'm thinking I might just trade her out anyway at the, after this mission into the next. Uh, so we'll see. Um, and then of course Bob. Uh, he doesn't need anything else. He's he's good. So let's talk to General Decker, and then we'll switch bunkers, get a cutscene, and then I'll see you over at the new one. We have won the day in this region. We shall move our operations to the new outpost to the west. Take your squad and report there ASAP. Okay. And so, yeah, we're going to go. And one of the cool things that uh, we have to do now that we have an APC as well is... Uh, we got to actually drive all our vehicles over. So Billy Bob uh, has the APC to himself, and everyone else is piled into the Hummer. All right, and so now we'll uh, go about our way. We'll get our cutscene. The super mutants were a powerful adversary with great strength and courage. Without the leadership of Gamoran, though, they will never pose the same threat to the Brotherhood. It was the corruption of Gamoran that provided the most sobering lesson. Even the purest of hearts can falter. The elders and generals must push their sorrow aside, however, for they have more pressing matters to attend to. The data recovered from Gamoran's base indicates that the mutant force's route intersected with the calculated location of Vault Zero. It is possible that the mutant horde discovered the location of Vault Zero during their exodus from the west. Is there a connection between the mutants discovering Vault Zero and the emergence of the mechanical menace? Only time will tell. The future holds one thing for certain. More encounters with the robots are inevitable, and the Brotherhood has a new and deadly enemy. Alright, so I think we're going to finally meet the uh, main antagonist. 
Um, so we'll see. We'll go ahead and save it up, and then I'll see you over at the new bunker uh, as we go. All right. All right. Cool. All right, and we're back now. So let's go into Bunker Delta. I'm just going to do a quick run around. Uh, I'm going to make sure Billy Bomb is driven all the way over here. Just so he can't uh, step on us. Alright, and then we're going to go and just quickly run around. So this is actually kind of interesting because it's not a complex that we're used to seeing uh, underground. It's an above ground complex. And I think the final one's going to be even more ramshackled than this. Come in, brother. Come in. I'm Hassan, quartermaster for this fine Brotherhood bunker. Yeah, if you need some great gear, you come to me. We got a motto in this bunker. Inventory is not boring. Inventory is life. Now, how can I help you? Very good. Let's just quickly take a stroll through his inventory here. Uh, I don't think I see anything of note, so we're good there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got our medical guy down here. Uh, ooh, we got two medical guys. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. We're pretty busy here lately. In the last 12 hours, I've set 13 broken bones, amputated four limbs, and handled all the patients for daily sick call. Oh, oh, where are my manners? I'm Scribe Highland, but please, just call me Doc. I'm a fixture here, so come by if you're feeling ill. Alright, she has some good stuff. Think about uh, coming over later. Hello, I'm Blythe. I'm Highland's assistant. How may I help you? All right, and he has some other stuff as well. Cool. Um, yeah. Just quickly run through here. I don't think there's going to be anything to see, to be honest. Uh, I think what I'm looking for are just like, is there any books or, or anything to pick up? Uh, anything in the bunker? You know, barracks here to talk to. This game had a lot of potential. If it wasn't rushed out the door, I feel like we would, you know, have a much different game. Because you can imagine all the roleplay, uh, you know, opportunities here between missions and so forth. Um, that could have been. But eh, they focused on the main game and they had to get that out uh, because of timelines, budgets, whatever. Okay, so we're doing good there. So let's go ahead and save. Uh, as soon as I get the rank paladin, I think I can get powered armor, so that should be coming up here shortly. Uh, let's see what rank I am right now. If I go under status, I'm defender. I'm a senior knight, so paladin should be close. Oh, man, killed lots of stuff. Uh, Brian is the oldest member on our team, other than me, and yeah, he's been working hard. 98 super mutants. Uh, Billy Bob's only killed 19. But he's only been with us for a few missions. Okay. Sorry, I, I digress. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to <coughs> the old general here. I'll try and get the APC noise off screen. Greetings, warrior. Your next mission will bring you to Junction City, a mid-sized town that has refused to form an alliance with the Brotherhood. Their independent posture has been recently reinforced by their victory over one of the robots late last night. Our elders are quite curious how such a battle could be won, considering the lack of heavy weaponry involved. This is a riddle whose answer might be paramount for victory. See what you can find out. More important than this riddle is the retrieval of the robotic parts from the scene of the battle. We must understand how our enemy works in order to neutralize it, and any robotic remnants might hold the key. Understand that the Reaver movement has been launching probing attacks against Junction City, our elders believe that they are also searching for robotic pieces. Considering the Reavers zealously worship technology, their involvement comes as no surprise. Try forging a deal with the town's mayor. Robot parts in exchange for protection from the Reaver. We have one last task for you as well. Our senior mechanic Cooter died recently when he triggered an explosive booby trap on a retrieved interceptor vehicle. His apprentice lacks the cognitive ability to fully assume the role. And at times like this, we can't have any malfunctioning vehicles involved during a high-risk mission. Intelligence reports that Junction City's mechanic is top-notch and might be persuaded to join the Brotherhood's cause. Find this mechanic and inform her of the wondrous opportunities the Brotherhood can offer. You have your orders. Dismissed. All right. Junction City, here we come. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I'll see you over there. All right, and uh, we're back. Let's jump into Junction City. 
Greetings, warrior. You're not All right. Wonder if this is one of those ones that's gonna get us started right away. Okay, Billy Bob, you gotta go. All right. So we have Billy Bob and Bob. Uh, let's take a quick look around the mission. Looks like there's some Reavers immediately within sight. So let's just kind of go ahead and just kick it off. And then we're gonna get everybody else down here. Uh oh. Oh, laser weapons. Looks like everybody is just kind of running into the attack. So let's go ahead and help them out. Oh my gosh. These people are made of paper. This is great. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do just fine here. That person had a minigun, however, so let's uh let's check that out. Yeah, nice. An Avenger minigun. That's pretty cool. Uh, miniguns are as terrible as they are in other Fallout games. Um, just because the of the damage point, like always. Um, and so, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a cakewalk. Love it. Super mutants are so tough. <laughs> These chumps. Alright, Lorak. End that person. All right, let's see what they got on them. So, ooh, a steer up. That's pretty cool. The game does have some cool uh, weapons uh, that the other Fallouts don't have. I guess ooh, a laser rifle. Yes. Okay, maybe I'll actually uh, send Alice down the laser rifle tree. Uh, does she have fast shot? She does, so I don't really want her to do that then. Uh, Billy Bob. If I didn't waste his tag, I could have had him. Never mind. I'll start raising his energy weapons, uh, and I'll give him that laser rifle. It's going to be a good upgrade. Okay, the Reavers have some cool weapons. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, but I just wanted to clear that perimeter since I saw that dude just chilling out. Um, I kind of want to just keep clearing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and sweep down and around then. All right, we'll move everybody around. Try and just draw some line of sight on things. See if we can find any targets. Okay, we can't. I do kind of wish I bought some uh, armor for these people, but that's all right. And then Billy Bob, still injured. I'm gonna have him actually eat his stim packs because is he close to level? No, but he has Fear the Reaper. Oh. That's lucky that Marta was ducking. Uh, let's talk to Marta here. Or Martha. You with your big guns and your armor. You do have those. You're too late. They killed my Hank. They shot him in the face and took his robot piece and mumbled something about it being the tool of Satan's off. <laughs> Why would they do that? My Hank was a good man. <laughs> well, I followed them to their camp. Is to the northeast of town. You have to go there. Go there and cut them down. Like they cut down my poor Hank. Okay. Let's try and uh, bookmark that. Maybe we can actually go and uh, figure it out. Thanks, Hank. Um, and see if there is actually like a cool little side quest in there. Hank had a rifle and a plasma caster. That's pretty cool. These things are, are pretty solid, so let's just equip them. Oh my god, look at that damage. 40 to 69. And then the laser rifle. Pff, so good. Okay, Billy Bob. I know where all your points are going now. Alright. Oh yeah, that's, that's going to be such an upgrade. Uh, here, we'll get Lorac equipped like that. So in case he's driving a vehicle, he can still shoot a sniper rifle. Uh, okay. All right, let's continue to clear around, and then what we'll do is we're going to come in through the uh, south. Yeah, we're going to come in through this gate into the town. I think they want us to go through this way, but I'm just going to kind of clear around the outside uh, because we saw those first guys. I just don't want any ambushes to happen, you know, while we're not expecting it. Uh, okay, these guys could probably run up to here. Lorak needs to move over. Where the heck are you, Billy Bob? You need to leave this charge. Something I read, though, is that ghouls can actually um, wear powered armor. 
So that's pretty cool. Alright, hurt. Yeah, okay, so everybody's here. Uh, yeah, Alice is there. Alright, so let's see. We'll just run Billy Bob straight up the middle here. And see what he sees. Alright. So far, so good. No traps, some guards. Alright, alright, very good. Um, where do I want Billy Bob? I think I'm going to park Billy Bob over here, and I'm going to group up the rest of the sit-ins and re, and move them over. Uh, I'm going to leave Alice out here with Billy Bob in case there's some trouble. Uh, I just don't know what the map's going to do. It might spawn some people on us. Uh, in which case, I have four outside, two, or I'm sorry, two outside, four inside. Uh, which will be a good number because Alice should be able to help defend Billy Bob and Billy Bob can just run like heck and <laughs> defend himself that way. Uh, yeah, but if ghouls can wear powered armor, we're going to be set, I think. Because uh, Billy Bob is just so good. Uh, Bob is slow, I'm noticing. Uh, no hand of barbaric crates. Okay. That is probably our mechanic. And then we can come in here and see what the town's like, yeah. Uh, Stephen well, Barrett. are you who I think you are? Oh, God, look at me, I'm a mess. Anyway, I'm Casey, the local mechanic, and it's a pleasure to meet you, warrior. I heard that you guys know how all sorts of stuff works. What? You want me to join? I'd like to, but I don't think you understand how sick my pa is. He got shot in the first reaver attack, and I think it's infected. Last night his tongue started to turn black, and then he messed himself five times, and guess who had to clean that shit up? I wish there was a doctor in this town. Hmm. Hint, hint. Alright, so... I don't know if I need to use a doctor's kit, but I have one that's partially used, so... Let's go ahead and just use it on old Stephen Barrett here. Alright, Stephen Barrett was fully you healed. Did it. That's great. I'll tell you what. I'll check him into the senior citizen work farm. The fresh air might do him some good, and I'm getting really tired of wiping his wrinkly ass anyway. He did always tell me to follow my dreams. Just let me pack up my things, and I'll meet you back at the bunker. That was easy. So yeah, not as in-depth as uh, you would expect. Uh, these sorts of quests to go. You can imagine like a quest line uh, involving Casey and uh, all the stuff that you need to do, but here we just use the doctor skill once. And we're good. All right, so let's go talk to Chuck. Oh dear, stranger. I bet you're looking for some of that devilish contraption. Well, just your luck, you found me. I was able to retrieve the part that flew out of its chest when it blew up. I need some cash to buy some medicine for my sick mother. You want to work something out? All right. Yeah, we can work something out. So we want that robot part. He wants 2,000. Uh... Okay. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure thing. Uh, yeah, the rest of the stuff is kind of neat. A plasma grenade. Uh, you know what? We're not using our ring caps anyway. Let's just buy it. So what do we got? Our ring pools, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to grab this, that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't need any of this other stuff. I want that plasma grenade, but I don't really need it. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Hmm. How many do we need? 2,121. Okay. Offer. There you go. Cool. So now uh, we have our first robot part. Uh, we do also have one of these books. I kind of want to give it to Billy Bob. So we're going to wait on that. Alright, so let's see who else is in town to talk to. You know what? Let's take a look at the Pip-Boy map as well. Okay, yeah, nothing. It's just the West Junctions and stuff like that. General store. That's kind of nice. Nice little town. Alright, let's do some exploring. There's a bookshelf. Bob can, or Brian can loot the bookshelf, it looks like. Uh, some meat jerky. I'm not even going to bother. Ice chest, fridge. 
Probably don't want us looting it, but you know what? Old Bob seems like he really wants to. Uh, some beer and Nuka-Cola. We'll take the Nuka-Cola. I think you robbed me blind. Uh, loot fruits. All right. Okay, so we're going to go to the pit here and see what's up in there. The robot was already broke. All right, let's talk to Angry Rick. You want me to sell my bar star attraction? Hey, listen, you asshole. This bar is how I pay my fucking bills. And that robot piece has brought more customers to my bar than my famous fermented Brahmin milk martini. Why don't you go shove a glass bottle up your ass and I'll kick it till it breaks. Get the fuck out of my face. Uh... We could gamble for it. I don't know if I want to. Let's go see what the rest of the town has in store. Um, let's see. Some stuff here. Ooh, big book of science. Don't mind if I do. Is that Lorac? Good. He can eat the book. Yum, yum. He's getting actually really reasonably good at science now uh, since he's eaten so many books. I think they do that intentionally, because you're going to need science at one point in the game. Uh, and as a result, uh, yeah, uh, as a result, they don't have any, like, like they don't want to leave you hanging uh, if you didn't invest in it. Because no characters that I've seen so far have a any tags in science, just natively. So the game doesn't even give you an out there, so it just does it through the books. Okay, so... We got this guy we could gamble for. Let's just save it. Maybe we'll just, well, maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, Hurt has a gambling of 29%. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, I don't know who you used to deal with, but after I rip your fucking lungs out, I'm gonna smack your mother with them. Now turn around and march out of my fucking bar like the good little soldier you are. Okay, uh, I think I have an alternative option here uh, that we can do. We'll have, uh, we'll just talk to him. Talk to him again. I'm gonna set everyone on passive, but I'll pop here, and we're gonna we're gonna make sure Bob is set to punch groins, and then we're gonna talk to him. Uh, okay, uh, okay, hold on. don't get so fucking excited, please. <laughs> now you put that safety back on. Right, there you go. Take a deep breath. You feel better? Whew. Hey, look, I I'm sorry I yelled at you, but I I'm going through a lot lately. The mayor's assistant, Anna, caught me smooching with Casey, and now she won't let me knock those boots no more. <laughs> look, if you look around, there ain't that many hot broads in this dump. And I ain't no Brahmin tag and tribal. I, I, uh, <laughs> no offense, buddy. <laughs> yeah, just take it and leave me alone, okay? <laughs> All right. Looks like uh, I didn't have to do it. Uh, yeah, okay, now he's just gonna... Oh, yeah, and I can go jamble all that stuff. Okay. Very good. That was easy. Are the Reavers going to attack? They might attack. Um, I could go and clear everything out and see if there's more spawned, but let's just try and do it the way I think they intended us to do, which is exploring uh, the town. Um, I do want to go and like clear everything, though. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go talk to the bookshelf. Uh oh. Let's have Bob talk to the bookshelf. Get our shotgun and some of that special ammo. We're going to be using the crap out of that ammo later. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's booby trapped in town, which makes sense. So we'll just have Bob just kind of go and loot up everything as we find it. All right, more bookshelves. Okay. I guess nobody's going to stop us <laughs> if we wanted to take all this stuff. Uh, another Dean's Electronics. It's locked. Well, that's lucky. Um, oh, I forgot to bring his lockpicks. Oh, good. That was enough. Ooh, good stuff. Eventually, we're going to get EMP shotgun shells. Oh, those things are absurd. It's the way that uh, small guns stay relevant in the late game. Um, 
So EMP shotgun shells do uh, massive damage to robots. Uh, and they're fairly safe to use on burst fire around your team because, you know, it's it's EMP rounds. But, I mean, there's also still shotgun shells, so uh, there there is still some work to be done. All right. Is there a shelf in the back here? No. Looks like the next place we got to go is the town hall. Uh, we got two of the robot parts. I don't know how many there are. But I think here we're going to be able to find uh, the last little bit. All right, mayoral assistant. Hi, sir. I'm the mayor's assistant, Anna. How about I help you so you can get what you're after and things can go back to normal around here? Besides the mayor, I saw three people that were able to get a piece of that machine. Angry Rick the bartender, Hank the cheating family man, and Juan the shopkeeper. Someone said Casey Barrett has one too, but if you ask me, all she has is a bad case of the clap. Does that help? It does. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it looks like we got two out of four pieces, is what it seems like. Uh, Casey should have one. I can go back and talk to her. Uh, I assume since she's going back to the Brotherhood, we'll get it anyway, but, uh, let's just go. Alright. Let's see, uh, I think this is the mayor? Yeah. Alright. Some magazines. <laughs> cool. Let's go talk to the mayor. Pleased to meet you, warrior. I'm John Levi's mayor of Junction City. Now, you'll have to excuse me, but uh, we're having a bit more excitement here than we're used to. With that robot attacking and now those reverb bandits trying to get the robot parts, well, I'm getting pretty damn fed up. Now, I know what you're after, so let's cut to the chase. My city is an independent. We take care of ourselves and we won't march to the Brotherhood beat. But we can't hold off those Reavers for much longer. Those tech freaks pack some advanced firepower, so I'll make you a deal. You kill all those religious tech bastards, and I'll give you the robot head. It's more trouble than it's worth anyway. Now, you'll have to look for the other pieces yourself. I have a city to run. All right. So it looks like we got to kill some Reavers, which I'm loving Reavers. <laughs> they have some armor on them, but... So far, it doesn't seem like it's too bad. Um, no description. Nondescript papers. Uh, I can go up to the roof. I don't think there's a reason to, but let's get out of the house so we can see. Yeah, might be for like a bandage point or something. So uh, I think there was, according to the Pip-Boy, a, a shop. Yeah, Juan's Emporium over here. We can get another robot piece. And then uh, left all Billy Bob and Alice out here in the dark. So what we'll do is we'll move them inside. Because, yeah, uh, I don't think there's going to be an attack. If there is, it's not going to be quite yet. All right, so we're going to have... Uh, going to get them to actually stand outside a line of sight of the gate. And then they can support as they need to. Uh, okay, cool. So let's go into here. See what's uh, what's going on up here. Just another bookshelf to loot. This is uh, this is standard Fallout, you know. <laughs> if you're used to any of the classic games, it's all about just like running through town, looking at all the shelves, and grabbing everything you can. I mean, there's a story and like role play and stuff, but you know, mostly it's about this. <laughs> all right, so I'll talk to Casey too. Maybe she has a robot part uh, that we didn't see. All right, we'll see if we can go up here. So this looks like one himself. So we'll go talk to him. Hi, fellow warrior. <laughs> come in, come in. Are you looking for goods or do you want to hear about what happened? Well, that robot limped into Junction City just looking for trouble. Now, if you ask anyone in town, you'll hear that my skills in fighting are only overshadowed by my ability to stock my store shelves. I could swear that robot almost turned around and ran when it saw who it was up against. This kind of makes up for all the times I got picked on when I was younger. Anyway, I have a piece of the monster if you want to trade. My buddy Hank's got one too. You should go find him. Okay, so we got a robotic arm, 3,000 ring pulls. His, stock, his shelves aren't that stocked. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything there. Let's get Bob, and let's just kind of see what he has up here. Nothing. Okay. 
All right, let's uh, let's talk to the guy again. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and just get that. We don't really need these ring pulls for anything else. We got ten thousand of them from that bandit. Uh, I'm sorry, from the uh, Beast Lord Emperor. Uh, and I haven't really been using them, so we'll just do it like that. Okay. So we got uh, all the robot parts, it looks like, because we got 16,000 XP for just kind of wandering through town. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's just go and check out what's up with the uh, Casey down here. Now, let me check here. What is my mission? Retrieve the boat. Oh, okay. So now we just got to go confront the, the Reavers. Let's talk to Casey. All right. Cool. Uh, okay, yeah. So let's go and confront the Reavers. Where are the Reavers? Probably up there. If I had to guess. Okay, yeah. Let's just go out the north door and uh, just take the fight to him. Oh, there's fighting. Uh, okay, let's go up here to, to Juan's playhouse up here. We're going to move uh, Billy Bob over here, and I think Alice is with him. Move her up. And then we'll see what we can find. Okay, yeah, you guys are still running. Cool. All right, so looks like the enforcers are fighting out here. Oh, okay, looks like they've won out here. All right, where did Alice go? We need you, Alice. All right. All right, so Alice took a hit. I'm going to back her up. Oh, knocked out. That's not good. All right. Billy Bob can uh, reinforce Alice here. All right. Larak. Okay. No one over here. Let's move Brian up to the gate. And uh, Alice is getting shot up. Let's back her up with uh, Larak here. Oh, Alice. No. Ah, they killed her. I thought they would move up, but... Uh, looks like we missed. But yeah, let's just gun everyone down. <laughs> Alright. If I accidentally anger the town, that'll be bad, but we'll have Lorak uh, deal with that guy too. Okay. Well, that was a bad ambush. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just, you know. Was not expecting that. Alright. Oh, Lorak's still fighting out here. Oh! Caught one in the f front there. Against, this, against these guys, it looks like the metal armor might be the best bet, but... Okay. Uh, yeah. We lost Alice. Um, that sucks, but... Oh well. <laughs> these things happen. Alright, let's go and loot her up. She had good armor, too. Uh, but hopefully we can replace that, no problem. She got knocked out, which is bad, bad news. All right, so we need to get consolidated here. Can I loot that? Yeah, they're only 10 pounds. Uh, we need to get consolidated and kind of push up. Ooh, a grenade launcher. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right, yeah, these people are dead. Mayor's probably not gonna like what happened here, but that's all. It's okay, I didn't know they were coming. Okay. Uh, one pound, huh? Where is one pound? Oh, here. I don't use these anyway. I want to, but they're just not good. Alright, Lorak is too heavy. Okay, so let's get these guys over here and join up with Lorak. I'm going to keep Brian at this gate. Uh, I think killing the uh, the other guys... Uh, was helpful. But yeah, my people were just out of position, and Billy Bob was too injured to go in and try and save Alice. Uh, just because of all that burst fire going on, I could have probably ran him around and then tried to shoot from that angle over here, but I don't know. 
It didn't seem likely. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's Billy Bob, so please don't stand on him. And then let's get some first aid on Lorak. And let's go ahead and loot these up. Ooh, plasma. All right. And then after Lorak is healed, we're going to heal Billy Bob. And then we're going to take the fight to the Reavers. Okay. All right. You get away from old Billy. Man, that sucks. Uh, all right. So let's loot up our uh, enforcers. Because, you know, they haven't had a bad day yet. And, uh, uh, you know, if you think about it, we were kind of robbed by the town anyway. So this is going to help us. Of course, a town this small losing like 10 people is, is kind of horrific uh, to the survival chances of the town. Yeah, these guys didn't have any chance against these reavers. All right, cool. Ooh, another laser rifle. Okay, so let's get everybody. Uh, yeah, there's some guys there. Let's post up in kind of intuitive positions. We're gonna have Lorac move there. We're gonna have Hurt. She's irradiated. <laughs> she just like one second next to Billy Bob, and you guys just like get get all the irradiation. All right. So we're gonna lay down. Uh, we're gonna have Lorac go there. I want Bob. I kind of want Bob like to run all the way up here. So let's do that. I'm gonna have Bob go up, and then Billy Bob is gonna come down here and bug these raiders, reavers. All right, you need to just start start groin punching this guy, right there. Yeah, get him. <laughs> there you go. Cut him in half. All right. Oh, where the heck's Brian? I could have Brian probably sweep around the other side. We're going to kind of crawl up here. And then have him take some shots. Oof. All right. Lorak going to run up this way. Brian. I'm going to... Oh, there's some... There's some dudes over there. Okay, Bob is okay. Billy Bob, I think, took a hit. Billy Bob took a lot of hits. Go, 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 go. All right. Bob is getting shot. So let's get him behind a car. All right. Let's try this again. So I wonder what's shooting us. Catching like grenades and stuff. All right, that was a minigun. What's this guy doing? <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna have Lorac move up. All right, Lorac, fall back. These guys have much more advanced weaponry than I expected. Uh. You guys go. I don't want Brian fighting by himself. So Brian, as much as I'd like you to, I think I need your services. Lorax got them pinned down, so they're not advancing on us. But we need to we need to get in that fight. And by pinned down, I mean he's just kind of like moping about here. <laughs> All right, hurt. Now the question is: Is can hurt get to Bob to heal him? Let's try it. Well, Brian moves up. Okay, Brian is here. I'm gonna have him move over this way. Where's Billy? Yeah, good. That's where I want you. All right. All right, so Brian, I gave him Tunnel Rat, so now he's able to kind of crawl really fast. So I'm gonna have him kind of roll up. Oh, look at that, there's a mine. All right, so we're gonna have him go there. Uh, looks like that guy was either trying to place a mine or he did place a mine earlier. Okay, so we got that covered. Uh, we're gonna have Bob, I think I want Bob T-Mutant to 
to go around the other side here. We're gonna have Hurt come over, heal Lorak. And then after she's done with that, she's gonna heal Billy Bob. Because I'm think I'm gonna need all hands on deck for this next part. Okay. I'm gonna wait so she doesn't get irradiated again, but I think Rataway works over time as well. Okay. Alright. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna have her just kind of lay around in the back here. She could probably help out with small gun stuff, but, uh, you know, it's not ideal. Alright, so we're gonna have Billy Bob run around this side. If he could figure out the pathing. And, uh, I'm gonna have him just... Oh, no, that's not a, uh... It's not a thing. All right, yeah, we're gonna have him just kind of stand here so he can get shots on anybody. I want Lorak to advance up, and I want Bob to go up here. All right. Oh, that's a minigun. And then we're going to have him groin punch, groin punch, groin punch, groin punch, groin punch, snap kick, in the eyes, <laughs> there we go, <laughs> ah, that was good, um, okay, cool, so now we can advance Billy Bob, we had everybody kind of in the right positions to, to lure that attack, uh, Billy Bob can take a shot. He knocked that poor guy out. Uh, Bob is a hungry boy. So I'm going to have him kind of run through here. Oh, can you not get through there? Qu quickly, quickly. That guy's knocked in. Okay. All right. I'm going to have him kind of come over here. I want him to duck. Hopefully he doesn't get shot up too bad. Alright, this is bad. Go, 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 Bob, go. Bob, 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 Bob. Alright. Let's get everybody back. Lay him down. Alright, we got everybody where I want them to be, mostly. You can gun that guy down. Alright, we're gonna move up. All right, so there was a guy with a minigun behind that car. I don't know if he died uh, or not, but we'll, sign, we'll find out. All right, we're gonna have Brian crawl down here. There's a guy yelling about pagans. All right, come on. There you go. Okay. All right, so there's some snipers up there. Uh, we're taking some damage, but overall we're doing okay. Where's that grenade launcher? <laughs> um, Billy Bob can probably advance up and take some shots. I want him to lay down here. There we go. And then what I'm going to do... <laughs> Alright, Lorac ate a mine. You might have been standing on it the whole time. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything there. Okay, yeah. Cool. Alright. So everybody is in a good spot. <laughs> ah, this is great. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to use our handy dandy first aid kit. And we're going to heal everybody up. Starting with Bob. Starting with Bob. Because, yeah, I wanted to punch that guy to death, but I didn't expect there to be, like, two guys just on his flanks right here. Uh, you discovered a what? What? Oh, okay. 
There we go. She discovered an active trap. Okay, so we just disarmed that. Luckily, we didn't run into it. And we're there. Alright. Cool. So we're going to heal Bob up. He's going to get bandaged probably soon. Oh, no. Perfect. Good roll. He's not super injured. Uh, Billy Bob can probably eat some stim packs. I'm going to first aid Lorac. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to stage two. That guy has a minigun. Injured his eyes. Injured his eyes. <laughs> You're kidding me. He's blind. <laughs> what did you do? Drop the needle on him? Alright. Lorac is going to eat another stim pack. Uh, this is why we needed Stitch. Alright. She's going to lay down. Perfect. Alright. So, what we're going to do, we're going to crawl Giacomo here up to... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So there are traps on the roads, so... Let's go ahead and disarm them. It's just, it just keeps going, huh? It's just, this is my life now. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just keep going here. Yeah, her trap skill is over 130%, but uh, the game does, you know, require you to have some stuff. And you can critically fall. Oh. There's a guy behind that car. Crap. Okay, well, that's not good. Alright, you're gonna stand up and kill this guy. Thank you, Brian. Alright, well, we need a new sniper. Um, cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this old-fashioned way, then. With good old-fashioned character. Uh, main character stuff. Alright. We're gonna crawl Brian up, so he can see only one sniper at a time. Okay, he can't see anyone. Or he may not be in range. Yeah, he can, he can see these guys, but... Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run... Lorac up there. Everybody's a bit far away, huh? <clears throat> okay. So, we're gonna have him stand. We're gonna have Brian. I'm kind of surprised we can't see these guys, but let's stand up. There we go. Oh! Excuse me? Here. Kung Fu kick his eyes. Kung Fu kick his eyes. What are you doing? Keep, keep it. Keep it going. Get it, get it. Punch him in the crotch. Get him! Alright, we lost him. Alright. Come on, Bob. Chase down this guy. Come on. You can't get through here, huh? Alright, we'll have to find him later. So what we'll do is, we're going to take our doctor and send her on a mission. She could take a shot from whoever this guy is. Alright, so he's down. Alright, and then we're going to have to get back to the front. over here. And these are very high difficulty traps. I'm waiting for her to explode catastrophically. Oh, this is a lot of failures. You know what? No, 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 no. Uh, don't even, don't even mess with that. can't even hit it. Alright, let's uh, move over here. Can you shoot it? Come on. Alright, well, 
we'll leave that for another day. Okay, so what did we accomplish? <laughs> we got a lot of people mad at us. Um, oh, there's just a couple of dudes with miniguns there, huh? Alright, this is a time for some of these. That could have been bad. Uh, we're going to get one of those. We're going to eat one of these. And then we're going to stand up. And we're going to take them out. Alright. And so these guys have sniper rifles. Uh, we need to close the distance with them. Uh, so in the meantime, going to eat up some of these stim packs. You can't spam them because they'll just consume the action points. All right. So what we'll do is we're going to just kind of rush it. Jesus. Go, go, go. All right, a lot of guys coming. Let's go down this way. These guys are well equipped. Jesus Christ. All right. Alright, so we're having problems here. Um, they just have way too many guns. Uh, and I don't know the best way to deal with it. I can't crawl around the outside here. There's just a bunch that live in the party boat over there. If I can get a missile downrange there, I think we'll be in a good spot. But yeah. Uh, so for the meantime, what we'll do is we're going to run hurt over here have her lay down she found a trap yeah this has been a good spot for uh, Billy Bob to be if I didn't screw up and get him killed okay we're gonna bandage uh, Lorac up so he can no longer be healed injured his left arm Jesus what is wrong with you today? <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. This time, don't kill Lorac. Oh, Jesus. Are you, like, what is wrong with you? You're, you have 100... Oh, you don't have a good doctor skill. 72. That's not good. Why didn't I heal that? Alright, good. So we healed his arm up. Let's go and do some more first aid. Uh, on them. Hopefully we don't injure or cripple something else. Uh, Lorac. We need to heal Brian, too. And then... Let's go ahead and get one... another one of these. Alright, so Lorac still needs more healing. Because we failed? Jeez. Okay, so we're good there. Brian's down there. So I'm gonna do... Hurt's gonna run. <laughs> These religious guys are kind of. Oh, oh God. Jesus. There's traps everywhere too. I didn't notice it in time. Heal up, hurt. A little bit more, and then we'll go. So yeah, this could have went a lot better. <laughs> but. We're going to get through it. We lost uh, Billy Bob, who's going to be our hard carry for a while. I'll have to just replace him with someone. At this point, uh, our skills are good enough that we could probably do a lot of the work that we need to do with um, energy weapons um, and so forth. All right, so we're good there. We'll get Bob up soon, but I'm going to have Brian crawl. And what I want to do is pop him up and just have him missile the crap out of the side here. So there's a couple of guys there. Okay. I didn't think he would see that. 
That's good. We can shoot him from here. Okay, let his action points go. Stand up. Duck. Look at them running around with their heads cut off. Alright, Lorak can stand too. And I want him to just start firing this way. Alright. Alright, and then Brian's gonna come over here. Alright, we're doing good. Alright, come on. Oh, you can't see over there, huh? Alright, Warwick, you got a duck. That's unfortunate. Alright. Alright, so we breached the house finally. Uh, does anyone have throwing skill? Not a, not a soul. Um, how do I go from here? All right, I think we just keep going. Bob, I want Bob to run down to where our medic is. And I want our medic to eventually run back to where Lorac is. Just eating these kids. <laughs> All right. Can you still see him if you duck? You can. Alright, so now Bob is A-OK. -okay. We're gonna take her. We're gonna run him run her back. Well, we know there's no mines over here anymore. And then what I'll do is duck her down. And we're gonna heal. Lorak up as much as we can. He should be bandaged uh, after this. Assuming he doesn't die from the first aid. There we go. So now he's healed. So the question is, does Brian need any support anymore? He doesn't. So, I think we're in a good spot to send in Bob. Alright, so now Brian has a little support in the way of uh, Bob T. Super Mutant. Alright. Jesus. Alright, so we're gonna have that go there. We're gonna get rid of uh, Bob's uh, need to punch crutches. Uh, and we're gonna have Brian step down here. Just gun some people down. If anyone gets too close, Bob will deal with them. Brian is gonna have to rely on his stim packs healing and one more all right and I want Bob to come in Bob's gonna fling this door open and Brian is going to send bullets down range oh booby trap I'm glad uh, he's the one who ate it ah uh, where's his uh, I should pack some peat healing powder on Bob uh, you know, let's eat a super stim pack. There we go. Alright. Locked. <laughs> uh, oh, good thing. Brian is our lockpick. Okay, now it's unlocked. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Do you have a firing angle on anything in the room? You do. Okay. We gotta be very careful here. Lorac could probably uh, advance on the house as well. Uh, just straight up on the... Jesus. Not with that. Alright, they're gonna stay there. Alright, Brian. There's a minigun in the room, so be very careful. There's this guy just waiting for you. Of course, you miss all your shots. That's crazy. Alright, reload. Let's eat that up. 
And we're gonna have him kind of step in after he eats one more thing. And you know what? I kind of want to eat some voodoo. So let's have him eat some voodoo. Yeah, his damage reduction is now 985. So we'll have him run in. He's gonna punch this guy. And we're gonna find the guy with the minigun and deal with him. Alright, and then... Yeah, perfect. Cool. And then we're gonna clear the top floor. Because now that I'm all hopped up on voodoo. And let me just chew on some afterburner too while I'm at it. Oh, good. He's addicted. But yeah, he's moving a little faster. Oh my god. Go, 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 Bob. Go, go. No, no, Bob. No. Yes. All right, Bob. Eat the stim pack before the super stim wears off. Okay. And then just keep, keep that going. Okay, so the top floor is still a little bit too much for us right now. Uh, looks like it's back to you, Brian. I wanted to have him just kind of clear out the snipers while he was basically immune to damage. But, uh... Seems like it was too much because uh, of the extra fire or fire support here. All right. Wait for his action points to come back. Okay. And there's two guys here. Can I just angle this right here? Not through. Not enough. Let's try it one more time. The answer is no. <laughs> no, you can't. All right, so let's angle down to see this guy over by the chairs first. See if we can get a good angle on him from here. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Good. All right, the next guy only has a laser rifle. Not too worried about that. All right, and so then now there's just these guys up on the rooftop. Uh, two guys with grenade launchers and two guys with um, other things. We can have Lorac draw some fire, have him run out, and so he can just start gunning people down from over here. Good, and then Brian's gonna come in from the back. And gonna rest down. Woo! We did it! Alright, they're all dead. <laughs> this house is filled with reavers. Nobody told me that. Um, Alright, so I believe that was our objective. Let's see. Briefings. Confront. So now we just need to retrieve the robot pieces, get yelled at by the mayor. Very good. Bob is addicted and crippled. Cool. Um, alright. Alright, Hurt. I want you to use your skill points on Doctor. I did not realize you were a bad doctor. Alright. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and loot everyone up. We're gonna go talk to the mayor, and then we're gonna call this one a, a wrap. Um, yeah, we lost two squad mates. Uh, Billy Bob is very painful. Alice, I was probably going to replace later anyway, but, uh, you know, it, uh, you never want to see someone die if you don't have to. So, yeah, it, it kind of sucked, but here we are. Oh, good. So now he's fully healed. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and loot up. I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. All right, we'll see you then. Don't oh, say and we're back. Either, but here, take it. I'm not going to miss it, and this town doesn't need any more attention. Just remember that we're not interested in giving the Brotherhood all our young and food. I know you guys could probably take this town in about mm, five minutes, but I'm hoping you'll let us be. And good luck in whatever the Brotherhood's doing. All right. You have retrieved the robot pieces. Proceed to the exit grid to end this mission. Perfect. So, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> 
we uh, we, we fought our way through uh, the Reavers. Um, there was a lot more Reavers than I was expecting. Um, if you're curious, what I got out of that was a load of Vindicator miniguns. Uh, these are really awesome. Because uh, they use 762, which is basically the most plentiful ammunition source. It does 16 to 25, so it's actually less uh, than what we get uh, from the other uh, other mini. Or, I'm sorry, uh, for the saw. But uh, basically, oh, I can't even can't even try and shoot it with her. Um, can I unload it? No, whatever. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, what what ends up happening here is that. Uh, uh, it, it shoots a lot of bullets and it's very solid. So we got about three, four of those. We got like eight steer augs. We got seven plasma rifles, five uh, laser rifles, five miniguns, four grenade launchers, uh, some, some other stuff, all the robot parts. And then also another three laser rifles. And then all Bob here, we got like three more <laughs> grenade launchers. So there was a lot of guys um, in this mission. So it's good to know. And something else that's kind of funny is now that Billy Bob's dead, our outdoorsman is gone again. So I'm just going to start putting all of my points into outdoorsmen because I'm, I'm tired of losing them. It's like, it's always the guy. It's always their fault. So let's hear the debrief and then we'll get done with this mission. Excellent work, warrior. The robot pieces you retrieved match the device recovered from the Raider base in Rock Falls. Our scribes are performing tests on them as we speak. Once we understand how they operate, we'll be able to defeat them more efficiently. Initial analysis indicates that the robot was already severely damaged from a previous fight with super mutants. This is confirmed by some of the less jubilant villagers' description of the battle and the dried mutant blood we found congealed in some of the mechanical joints. Further inspection revealed that its damaged power supply overloaded, causing the explosion. If that class of robot was undamaged, it could easily wipe out ten of those villages without even blowing a gasket. Now that we have a competent mechanic in our ranks, we can catch up on maintenance at the motor pool. I've also implemented a strict apprenticeship program so we won't run into this mechanic problem again. Okay. And we did it. So... We just keep attritioning members, but you know what? It's a war, uh, and I guess it's supposed to happen that you lose people. Uh, the attrition rate is staggeringly high, though, on our group. Uh, but then again, I feel like we're running into threats and, and new things that, you know, nobody's experienced before. So, you know, that's pretty good. All right, so uh, with that, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, hope you'd like, uh, subscribe, and, um, you know, stay tuned to the channel. We have a lot of good things going on, and... Uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you in the next one. See you next time. Later.